Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I've already shown you the quick overview of Pack Your Bag. So if you haven't seen that video, then just go to description there, you will find the link for my previous video. Or you can do one thing, you can just download that app from the Play Store and you can experience that app. From this video onwards, we are going to start the development of Pack Your Bag. So I'm going to create a new project. So click on this new project and here you will find multiple activities. Then I'm going to select this empty activity. Just click on this, click on next, and here I'm going to give this a name. So I'm going to name this one, pack your bag video. Okay, and this package name will be unique. It will be automatically generated and you can, or you can change as per your choice. So this is the minimum SDK, which I have set. It means that the phone, which contains at least eight Android 8 version, those phone can, download and experience this app if you want to reduce this application like suppose i want to install this application on 4.1 so the then you can select like this but there is some disadvantage too like some of the feature which is available in the new android version you can't able to do it that's this position okay so i'm going to select this 8.1 and just click on finish this will create a new project and it may take some time depending on your internet connection. Make sure your system is connected with the internet because here you can see this griddle build is running and some of the uh, jar it needs to download from the internet. So internet connectivity is must. So wait for some time. Here you can see this, it's down downloading some jar. It may be of uh, 50 or 60 MBs. So we can proceed further once it finishes download. Now finally my download is finished and here you will see the structure like this. One, you have this main activities because we have selected the empty activity. So we have one activity here, over here. This is the Java class for the same. And here we have one activity underscore main class in which you get this hello world. So let me just minimize this. And let me just open this resource file and in the layout you will find this activity underscore main. In this one, we have this main activity. So first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some changes in the values. Click on this and I'm going to change some colors according to my needs. So here you can see that these are different color, but as I have shown you in my app, the colors are different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy these colors, resources, and moving back to my application. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just replace it and save it. You can manually type because I have only changed these two colors. If you observe this, here you can see this. I have changed only these two colors. So you can manually type it by pausing this video. Next thing what we have to do is, we have to change into this one. Just go to the themes, theme section, and here you can see this dark action bar. So I just want to change some colors over here. So you can observe that uh, whenever I change the color code over there, so it's automatically changed to this one. This color primary, this one over here, this white, like this, but still just to make it same, I'm going to just copy this one and just paste it over here and save it. Okay. So what happened is what I have changed over here is in previously, you can observe this, this app can run in both day and night mode. So I have just changed this one to run only in the light mode because uh, for the dark mode, you have to put some different color, which actually fits your application. So I don't need to run it in the dark mode. So the same thing I'm going to do it over here, just going to remove it, replace it, the same thing. You can do same, you have to just change this stuff, that is light to dark action bar. Okay, next thing what we have to do is, next thing we are going to design the layout. So let me just start my application once and show you how this looks, this hello world actually. So I've started the application, my emulator is running and here it's on. It may take some time. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. So we made some mistake while copying and pasting it. This is not pack your bag, this is pack your bag video.
Okay, let me just copy it and paste it once again over here and save it and let's start this once again. Here we go. It's running. Now it's installing. Here you can see this. And you can see this now the color for this one and this one is changed and it's showing the hello world now. So we are going to design a card view like that. Let me just show you quickly. My pack your bag application is over here. And here you can see this. First, we are going to design this stuff in this video. Okay. So first we will uh, design this stuff. We will put the recycler view and all in this text view over here and all the card view and we will add everything one by one. So let me just close this and let's start it. So first thing we have to move into this activity main and here just go to the split section and let me just reduce it a bit like this. Okay, so first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove this constraint layout uh, and change this to related layout. And I'm going to change the orientation to vertical. Next thing we are going to put a text view over here. Let me just remove this hello world. So I'm going to put a text view into this one and the width will be match parent and the height will be 80 dp. Let me just close this. And before we code anything further, first thing what I have to do is I have to add some drawable files to this one. So let me open that folder quickly. Copy these all drawable files. I'm going to provide this all drawable file link in the description of this video. Not to worry about that. Let me just minimize it and move back over here and just paste it. Just select this one and click on OK and OK and this will override. OK, no issues. So now all the drawable files are added into this one, whatever that we are going to use. OK, and the vex vector assets, whatever we need, we will create it later. So after this, after setting the height and width, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the background for this one. So background will be drawable and it will be wave two. Drawable slash wave two, this one, and here we go. Next thing what we have to do is we have to set the ID for this one. So ID will be title underscore view. After this, we have to set the height. You already set the height actually. The next thing we have to set the text alignment to center. Next thing I'm going to set this text. That is my text is pack your bag. And here you can see this. Uh, now this text your bag is, uh, sorry, pack your bag is very small and it's in the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just align into the horizontal uh, center. So center horizontal and just change this one to true. And text alignment to center and this one. Text style will be bold. After this, uh, text color, it will be white. So hash FF this is six times. And finally, we are going to set the text size. It will be 35 SP. And there we go. Now our header is ready. So you must be worried that we have added the text field, uh, text right. So why I'm setting the ID for this one? Because it's a relative layout and whatever we want to put below this, we need an ID, right? So that's why I have set the ID for this one. Below this, we are going to add a recycler view, right? So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a recycler view. And for the, the height and width, it will be match parent and match parent. And I'm going to give it an ID. So recycler underscore view. And after this, I'm going to uh, set this below. You must see it that this recycler view, the item is showing over this text view. So what I want is this recycler view needs to be start below this text view. So how do we do that? So we are going to type below and we will pass the ID like title underscore view. And here you can see this. Now this is below this view, right? Next thing what we have to do is we are going to create one item. This is a recycler view. In recycler view, there are 
different items you if you observe over here it is this is a recycler view and here each card is an item right so i'm going to design one card and we are going to render it for each value okay so let's start with that so let me just go over here it's in the layout and here we will right click on this click on new and we will create a new res layout resource file and i'm going to name this one main underscore item click on ok and this will create a new item go to split and here first what we are going to do is we are going to remove this constraint layout i'm going to put this linear layout inside this one and this will be width will be match parent and height will be wrap content and the orientation will be vertical and i'm going to put some padding of 10 dp okay after this we are going to add another linear layout in which we are going to put a image view and a text view so i'm going to create one linear layout and for this one the width will be match parent and height will be wrap content after this i'm going to set an id for this one and the id will be linear layout let me just close this so that okay like this and we haven't set this orientation for this one that's why it's showing in issues not to worry about that so i'm going to set this orientation to vertical and here you can see this now the issue is gone after this i'm going to set the gravity to center after this i'm going to set the background background for this one that will be hash e3 ac ac the red color uh, as i have shown you after this i'm going to set the padding so padding will be of 10 dp after this i'm going to set the layout gravity gravity to center vertical and center horizontal i need to set the whatever the inside this linear layout into this complete center from the this vertical side and from the horizontal side both the sides okay so now i'm going to put the image view into this one image view okay and the image view height and width will be wrap content and wrap content i'm going to set the id for this one so id will be img and the padding is of 10 dp and i'm going to set a drawable file just to see how it actually looks so i'm going to set a drawable slash shopping back this one and here you can see this how this one is looking looking right next thing what we are going to do is we are going to add one text view in below this one to actually represent the title so i'm going to add this text view and the height and width will be wrap content and wrap content and id will be title and after this i'm going to give a text just to see it so i'm going to just name this one basic needs after this the text size will be 20 sp after this the text color will be black after this i'm going to set the text size or style sorry text style to bold and i'm going to set the text alignment to center like this let me just close it now our card is ready next thing what we have to do is we have to create one constant class let me just tell you why i'm going to create that so let me just create a package over here and i'm going to name this one constants and inside this one i'm going to create one new class and I'm going to name this one constants, my constants. And then this one, I'm going to create some constants. So let me just move back over here and let me just copy these constants. I'm going to provide a link where you can find all of these constants, not to worry about that. So let me just paste it. And here you can see this, my selections, uh, these, whatever you can find over here, like basic need, you will find it into this one 
basic need. You will find clothing over here. You will find personal care. Whatever the constant we are required repeatedly, I have declared all of those constant over here throughout my project. You can pause the video and you can write it manually. Like my selections, it will be my selections. True string, true, false string, false. These are not Boolean. These are string, right? And this is system. Uh, this is basic needs, camel, and everything is written over here. You can manually type it also. So next thing what we are going to do is we are going to create an adapter. That will be for the recycler view. In the recycler view for attaching every single view, we need a adapter, right? So now let me just click on this one and just click on this. And I'm going to create a package for the name adapter. Inside this one, I'm going to just create a new class with the name adapter. Okay, inside this one, first thing, what I have to do is I have to create a new class. So public class, my view holder, and this will extend recycler view, recycler view dot view holder. After this, when you hover into this one, this will tell you to create a constructor matching super. Next thing, whatever the variables, whatever the content which we want to access from the recycler view that the card specific card, we need to mention it over here. So we need to actually extract three values, right? If I go into this one main item, we have three values. One is this card. Whenever I click on this card, we need to move from this to another activity, right? This card actually. So this have one ID that is linear layout. Another thing to set the image, I need this image view ID that is IMG. To set the title, I need this ID that is title. So this is a text view, this is an image view, and this is a linear layout. So we need all of these three. So move back to adapter, and here I'm going to declare all of these three, right? So here I'm going to create one text view first, and this is title. Another is image view, that is IMG. Another is linear layout. So this is linear layout like this. Next thing we have declared the variable. We have to connect these variable with this menu items, right? So how to connect that? So move back over here. Below this title is equal to item view dot find view by ID R dot ID dot. You can't able to find it because you haven't imported this R. So just press alt and enter key and you will find this and import the first one. Here you can see this, this R is imported. You can import manually to R.ID and this is title, right? So just type title, you will find like this. IMG is equal to item view dot find view by ID R.ID dot title. Not title, this time it's image, right? So next thing we have linear layout. So linear layout is equal to item view dot find view by ID R.ID dot linear layout like this one. So now the task for this one is done. Next thing what we have to do is we have to move over here on the top. This will extend the cycler view dot adapter. Inside this one, we have to pass our my view holder. So this will not directly be accessible. So what we have to do is adapter dot my view holder like this one. Still it shows issues because we have to implement some of the methods. So here you can see this, these are methods for the adapter. So implement method, select all these three and click on OK and this will by default add all of these stuff. Before we do anything to this one, we have to declare some variables over here. So what are these variables? This is first is list of string and this is titles. So here what you have to do is alt and enter import class like this one. Next thing we have list of integers and this is for images. Next thing we have layout inflator and it's inflator. Next thing we have activity and activity. These all which are required in this adapter class. Okay, so after this, I'm going to press Alt and insert in order to generate the constructor. And this constructor, we have to select some of the stuff, right? So what are those? Those are titles. And after that, I'm going to select the images and the activity and click on OK, this will generate a constructor like this. One more thing here, what we have to do is we have to create 
one more argument that is context context and from this context we are going to get the inflator so this dot inflator is equal to layout inflator dot from and we have to pass the context into this one so now we have this layout inflator after this what we have to do is we have to move below over here and you can see this get items count so for this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to just select this titles and i'm going to pass this titles dot size and now this much time we have to render this adapter after this we move back into this on by in view holder on create view holder and here just remove this null part and here what we will do is we will create an object of view view and is equal to inflator dot inflate r dot id dot not id r dot layout which we have created that is main item and we have to set this into uh, this every card view right next thing we have to pass parent into this one and whatever thing we got from this uh, on create view holder next thing we have to pass the false attached to parent attached to root to false after this now we have created the view with my uh, custom resource layout in this one main item finally what we have to do is we have to return this view okay so now the task for this one is done now we have attached the view now in that view what we have to do is okay sorry we have to return new my view holder inside this one we have to pass this view next thing now we have attached our view into this one and now we have to set the data whatever the context like uh, i want to set the image i want to set the title into that and whatever happen when we click on that card we have to set it right so for that what we have to do is we have to come into this one on by in view holder inside this one we have to type holder dot we have to set the title so title dot set text and we will get the text from here from this titles list dot get and we will get the position from here next thing we have to set this image so set image resource inside this one we have to get this image from images dot get position next thing we have to move into this one and we have to set this linear layout and i'm going to set the alpha that is the transparency of that one so alpha to 0 0.5 0 0.8 f next thing whenever we click on that linear layout we move from one activity to another right for that i'm going to create a click listener for that so holder dot linear layout dot set on click listener click listener new view on click listener like this one and whatever whenever i click i want to show a toast message for now but in further videos what we will do is we will implement whenever we a user click on one card or one item then we will move to the next activity right so inside this one i'm going to just type like this clicked on card okay after this now the task over here is done next thing we don't need to do anything inside this one next thing we have to move into this main activity and here we will do the remaining stuff so first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the recycler view which we have added into this main activity. If you move back over here, inside this one you can find this recycler view. So let me just move back over here. So recycler view, I'm going to name this one recycler view like this. Next thing we have to create one variable that is list of string for titles. Let me just press alt and enter and import class. Next thing list of integer. images after this we create a adapter adapter object adapter adapter like this one next thing what we have to do is first thing if if i move into this one if i run this application it will find that let me just close this and here we go pack your bag not this one this one here you can see this we have this toolbar right i don't need this toolbar so how to hide this let me just move back into this one and here what we will do is we will type get support action bar dot hide 
and this will hide our action bar let me just run this once again and let's see if this that one is hidden or not so here you can see this now that action bar is gone and now we have this message on the proper place right so let me just stop this and let's code further so next thing what we have to do is we have to create some methods over here to actually get all the titles so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just create a uh, method private void add all titles and here we will create titles is equal to new array list like this one and inside this title we are going to add some of the stuff right so titles dot add and i'm going to add my constants dot and basic basic needs camel case right this one so this is why i have created this uh, constant so that i can directly use it the same thing i don't need to type it again and again okay so i have used this in the same way let me just copy this and paste it multiple times Just paste it 12 times. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So next thing what we have to do is we have to just simply change this stuff. So this is clothing. So in whatever order you want to keep it, you can keep it. You have to just add it according to that. Change this one to clothing. Camel case. After this, this one to personal care. Uh, this one to baby needs after this this one to health care after this technology after technology we are going to add this food i'm going to add in the same order as shown in the video you can change the order as per your choice okay after this, uh, we are going to change this one to beach supplies camel case. And after this, I'm going to change this to car supplies. This one to needs. This one to my list camel case. And finally, the last one to my selection camel case. Okay. After this, let me just delete this extra spaces and I will create one more method which will actually add all the images which are required right so i'm going to name this one this will be the private void and add all images like this and i'm going to add all the images into that one so images is equal to new error list like this one after this images dot add r dot drawable dot p1 so I've added the image sequentially. So whenever I type the image name over here, you can see this now the image is visible over here, right? This one, the P1. If I move back over here and if I open my pack your bag and you can see this, this is the image which is visible over here in the small size, right? So I have to set the basic need for the basic need. I have to set this image. So I have added the basic need into this at the first place. So I have to add this images at the first place in the same order. You have to add it over here. So let me just copy and paste it 12 times. So one, let me just copy this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So this will be P2. This will be three. This will be four. This will be five. This will be six. This will be seven this will be eight this will be nine this will be ten it's eleven and finally the last one is twelve okay so if i save it here you can see this now for the every stuff now the images are changed right here you can see this now you can see all the small icons over here now what we have to do is we have to move to the top over here after this what i have to do is i have to call this method that is add all titles so this will add all the titles into this variable 
After this, I have to call, call add all images. This will add all the images into this one. So now we have all the titles and all the images. Next thing what we have to do is we have to create one adapter over here. So we already have an adapter variable. So adapter is equal to new adapter. Inside this adapter, we have created a argument constructor. So if I go into this one here, you can see this, it needs context. This needs titles, images, and activity. So we move back over here. We will pass all the required stuff, right? So context is, this is the context. And we have to pass the titles. We have to pass the images. And after this, we have to pass the activity. So main activity dot this. Right, so all the stuff are passed around. Next thing what we have to do is we have to create a grid layout manager. So grid layout manager is equal to new grid layout manager inside this one. We have to pass the context and we have to pass the count for the column spam count and creating two, right? So after this, we have to pass the grid layout manager and I'm going to pass this one to vertical after this, we have to pass the false. This is reverse layout. Okay. After this, now this grid layout object is ready. So next thing what we have to do is we have to set this one to the recycler view. So set layout manager inside this one. We have to pass grid layout manager like this one. And finally, what we have to do is we have to call this recycler view dot set adapter inside this one. We have to set the adapter. So we will pass the adapter into this one and now the task is done. Next thing we will start the application and let's check if this works as shown in or not. So here you can see this. Okay. So our application crashes. So let's see what happened. So we got this exception because we haven't registered the recycler view over here. You can see this attempting to invoke virtual method. This is recycler view set layout on a null object, right? So here you can see this recycler view. We haven't find it by ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type like this, find view by ID, r.id.recycler view. And now let's start our application. So move back over here. So let's restart this application. And here you can see this. Now our application is started, but we actually missed some of the stuff, right? So we have missed the color, the back color, right? So we have to set that, the background image for this main uh, stuff, right? Activity main, if I go into this one, and if I go into this one, we have to set the background, right? So we missed that. Let me just add that background. So the background is at the rate drawable slash background three. And here you can see this now the background is set. Let me start the application and move back over here. So here we go. Now it exactly seems the same. So if I click on this, we have set some toast message over there. So click on this and here you can see this clicked on card. If I click on this, here you can see this again, this clicked on card. So now what we can do is we can see when I click on back, it directly exit my application, right? So if I restart my application, if I click on back, it directly exit the upper application. So what we have to implement is whenever user click the first time, it should ask that are you sure you want to exit? Click back again to exit, right? So for that, let me just move back over here, make some space over here, and I'm going to declare some variables. So private, static, final, and what we're going to do is, I'm going to declare it int, not like this, int over here, and I'm going to name this one time underscore interval, and this will be 2000, milliseconds after this private long and m back pressed okay after this i'm going to override one method that is i have pressed alt and insert and this pop-up will be on your screen after this override and we have to search for on back pressed this one just click on this and click on okay this will show a method like this they will overriding this method so what we have to do is just remove this super on back press. Let me just cut this one. If M back pressed plus time interval is greater than system dot current time milliseconds, then what we have to do is we have to 
call this super dot on back pressed and then return if this is not the situation then what we have to do is we have to ask for user to ask it tap back tap back button in order to exit like this and inside this one we will set am back pressed is equal to system dot current milliseconds at the first time whenever user will click this is nothing uh, so it will not satisfy this condition it will go into this else and it will set the current time millisecond and after the second situation it will cross that duration right so it will enter into this one and it will exit so let me just start this and let me show you quickly Okay, so our application really started and if I click on this one and here you can see this tap back button in order to exit. So I double cl clicked on back button and it's exited, right? So this is how this will work. So that's it for this video guys. In the next video, I will show you how to create a database for our application and we will perform all the database related operation in the next video. So just stay tuned, hit like, subscribe and share with your friend. Thanks for watching.